Hi guys, welcome to my channel Confessions of a Gaming Mum. So today is Wednesday the 16th of December. Um, so it's day one of tier three um, for Essex and London, I think parts of Hertfordshire, I think it is. Um, so not that it makes much difference to us because we're still in self-isolation until tomorrow. But um, But yeah, so as you can see we've We've been ordering Christmas presents, so, <laughs> so I think we're pretty much set now for Christmas. My parents are on their flight, well, they're in Athens as far as I know, so they've done their flight from Crete to Athens, so now they're waiting to get, do their flight from Athens to London. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so waiting for them to get home, because they they're going to stay with my aunt again over Christmas. I'm still not sure, because they said they can't stay with my aunt. Christmas Eve and Christmas Day so I don't know if they're staying with us or if they're staying with my sister I'm not sure um, so I have to go and see my nan on Sunday um, I can't remember if I said this in a previous video because um, my well I was planning to go and see her anyway but I was planning to go and see her with my sister because obviously my sister's been helping out with my nan um, while I've been away uh, so I was hoping to have a catch up with my sister and um, like sort of find out what Nan needs and what's been going on and stuff and be updated. Um, but my sister doesn't want to go and see my Nan because um, my little niece um, is, is now having to self-isolate because her teacher tested positive um, for coronavirus because her son goes to a senior school near where my sister lives and apparently that place has become notorious for teenagers just catching it and running rife with, with the virus so it wasn't surprising that that would, would be what would happen so yeah so I don't know when I'm going to be seeing my sister um, I don't know when I'm going to be seeing my parents other than Possibly, most likely Christmas Eve because Christmas Eve is my mum's birthday but what's going to happen before then and after then I don't know um, normally we have our friend come and celebrate New Year with us but that's probably not going to happen now um, even though we are a support bubble but but yeah I don't know I don't think she'll she'll want to come it's up to her so um, see how she feels so it'll probably be the first time we've actually been at home well we always celebrate new year at home but it'll be the first time we've been celebrating new year at home with just us no one else so it'll be a bit meh but oh well way of the world at the moment isn't it really um so today i've managed to do pretty much all my housework that i had for the week not just today but over the last few days i've managed to get it done because I've realised we've come to this point in Bub's life where I can actually get things done and he leads me get on he lets me get on with it. I guess it kind of helps the fact that my husband has worked out he can actually stay with us in the living room and work. Um hence why I'm up in the office because <laughs> cause normally he'd shut himself away in the office and then I'd be downstairs vlogging. But um but yeah, so he's because while we were away in uh, Crete, there was nowhere for him to work other than on the dining room table. And so obviously Bubs got used to him being there. So he was just kind of like, meh, dad's just sat there working, therefore leave him alone. Because it used to be that like as soon as Bubs saw a laptop, he'd be like, oh my God, and he'd come over and try and attack my husband while he was working. But he doesn't do that now. The only time he goes to the laptop is when my husband walks away from it. So my husband has to lock it every time. <laughs> but... um but yeah, there's progress. So yeah, it just means I'm able to get on with stuff. Like my husband doesn't have to watch him. I think it's just more Bubs knows that there's a parent there, therefore he doesn't have to follow me around to see what I'm doing. So um, so yeah, and obviously my husband can kind of keep an eye on him and make sure he's not destroying anything. So yeah, so it's, it's good in that sense. Um, so like, cause I'm obviously I'm the one mostly watching him. And also doing like lunches and dinners and stuff. Um, so yeah, so it's meant like I can actually start to do my housework and not have to wait until Bubs goes on his nap or whatever because it seems that he's not napping anymore really. Um, 
since we've not we can't he's grown too big for his old nap chair so the only way we can get him to nap is if we cuddle up on the sofa with him put some like nice relaxing music on but again that's like a toss of a coin whether or not he's actually going to sleep um the amount of times i've sat with him and he's just he's like kind of been okay and relaxed for like half an hour and then he gets up and has like got a second wind so so it's it's really annoying because um obviously yeah it's great that i can i don't have to use his naps to do the housework but I was always using his naps to um, do my exercises, my physio exercises. So now it means what I have to do is, when my husband's having a lull in in work or whatever, um, I can go away for like half an hour and do the exercise. Again, it's it's kind of like when I'm doing the housework, except obviously I'm not able to really come back if my husband needs me in that half an hour because obviously I'm doing my exercises, unless obviously it's urgent. But um, but yes, that's the only problem. It means I just have to rely on my husband being able to watch Bubs for half an hour so I can come away and do my exercises, which is slightly annoying. But again, I mean, it's like, just have to take the rough with the smooth, really. But um, but my goal today was that I was going to get all my jobs for the, for the day done on stuff that I wasn't able to catch up with on other days. So I've caught up on all my housework. Um, which means after lunch, um, me and Bubs are going to make some mince pies. So, uh, so hopefully I can I can record it, <laughs> and it's not going to be an absolute disaster. This will be the first time that Bubs has actually ever done anything, not uh, or something kitchen kitchen uh, related. Normally he just brings his toys in or sits on the side with me while I'm washing up. So, um, so yeah, this will be the first time he's actually done something. Yeah, that's cooking based so um so yeah i'm looking forward to it i'm also dreading it but <laughs> but we'll see how we get on um i need to bring the steps down so he can actually reach the top of the counter so um so yeah it should be interesting we'll see how he gets on um i can't think of anything else i need to say um other than i've got to get my part two of assassin's creed um video up for friday um, I think I started editing it, so I just need to finish editing. Um, obviously I've got the vlog up for tonight, so that's fine. So yeah, I just need to finish finish that. I'm just in one of those moods where I think I've been able to be... F I've, I've been able to free up all my time with Bubs letting me get on with housework. I just want to be cleaning stuff, like tidying and sorting. Like yesterday where I sorted out the uh, the kitchen cupboards. Now I'm kind of like, right, what else do I have to sort? There's something else I need to organise. <laughs> I'm just trying to think. The only thing I can think of currently is probably my clothes. But again, that's more of an uncertain thing. Obviously, this will be the next the next big one. Um, when my husband's off work next week, I said to him, we'll do it. We'll be a tag team. So I'll come up for like an hour or so and wrap presents. Then I'll go down and he can come up and, and wrap presents. Um, we got Bubs the kitchen. This is what the big big box is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't even this one. <laughs> yeah, it's a, a wooden kitchen. Um, so I said to my husband, we're not going to wrap it because obviously it's a big box anyway. Um, so what we're going to do is just um, leave it there, and then when Bubs goes down Christmas Eve night, we'll um, build it downstairs. And then when he comes downstairs Christmas morning, it's it's already built. So, but. Um, but yeah, I ordered my parents a canvas last night. Um, God knows when it's going to turn up, so we'll just have to see. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's done and ordered. And I think that's it for presents. That was the only, that was the main thing. Oh, my mum did say to me she wants slippers. So, <laughs> so yeah, so I have to try and uh, and figure out how I'm going to get her slippers for Christmas. I'll have a look on Amazon and see if they. Uh, if they'll deliver before Christmas um but yeah we'll see but uh it will be vegan burgers and chips tonight I've been organizing what we're going to be having for dinner last night I can't because I don't think I said last night we had um some like chorizo style spicy sausages they're really nice from M&S um mashed potato and carrots tinned carrots um still trying to get Bubs to eat them he's still not eating them it's so funny though, he's got this like proper attitude coming on now though. It's hilarious. And he like folds his arms and he goes like, and he pulls like a real face. It's really funny. So I was like trying to get him to eat the, the carrots and he's like, no. And then like folds his arms. It's hilarious. 
So, uh, so hence why we want to get potty training done and dusted ASAP because now he's getting the attitude it's going to make it more and more harder as he realises he can do things for himself and he actually has a say in things. So, <laughs> so yay! <laughs> anyway, um, I better head down in a minute because I'm currently cooking my lunch um, and then it will be time to do Bubsies as well and my husband's so, so yeah. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> it's not the trucks, Bubs. Bubba. There we go. Up, up, up. No, no. Ooh, ah. There we go. All right, what you need to do is you take this and you put it there and then you push down on it. Push down. Push. And then lift it up. Lift it up. What's this? So then we put it there like that. It makes a little mince pie. Okay. And yeah, you can do that one. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. There, that's it. And then take that one out. Yeah! yeah. I did. Spread it around. And then we put that on top. Like that. On top. <gasps> and I've got a mince pie. But squeeze. Push, push, push. Push, push, push. Yeah! That's it. Lift up. <gasps> Yeah! Whoa! Whoa. Scoop! Oh, that's a lot in that one. There we go. And then in there. That's it. Dab it down. Dab it down. Yeah, that's it. I did it. You did it. Yeah! Oh, oh, oh don't flick it. Careful. Some more. I'm gonna put some more in. And what we do, we can roll it out. Go, 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 go. You're gonna roll. That's it, keep rolling. Do you think we'll get three more out of that? We need three more. Let's roll it up again. Roll and then roll. Oh, thank you. Do you want to make little shapes out of it? I'll get you the other cutters, Bubba. So the mince pie session was stressful. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, it, it could have gone worse, but then it could have gone better. <laughs> Someone who's a bit over enthusiastic when it comes to using um, pastry shapes and also dabbing uh, mince meat into the um, filling thing. Um, it doesn't, it didn't help either that the tin that I've got, like the, the baking tray I've got, is um, too big for the uh, mince pie base, so they're very, they're quite flat, rather than being deep, they're, they're very flat. So, um, so yeah, I think I need to look for a smaller um, baking tin to, uh, to put them in, so we'll see. I'm not in like any ma massive rush to do it again, so, uh, so yeah. If I, can, if I can find one then I'll buy some more things so we can make some more mince pies because I definitely enjoyed it so I'd like to do it with him again because yeah he had a lot of fun doing it so uh, so yeah don't mind trying that again 
Um, tomorrow maybe we might make some paper chains, although tomorrow will be um, the first day that we can actually go out, like how um, self-isolation is over. So um, I have to go out anyway to um, drop off my parents' prescriptions because um, they they arrive safely, they're at my, my aunt's now, self-isolating. Um, but yes, so they they needed me to put their um, prescriptions in because they're still having that having to transition over to the doctors in um, in Crete. So obviously, in, in the meantime, they have a lot of medication that they have to take. So um, so yeah, they're using the doctors over here. So I've got to go and put their prescription in. So then by the time their self isolation is up, they can go and get it. So. Um, so yeah, so I've got to do that tomorrow. We'll also, because um, I found out there, they did it last year, but he actually drove around our village, um, like uh, basically Santa for a charity, like you give him some some money and he does like um, what they would normally do at the Santa's Grotto, like ask ask what you want for Christmas, have you been a good boy or a good girl or whatever. So, um, so yes, yeah, so, but instead of going around, driving around the village, he's actually staying in one place, which is the, um, the scouts building, main building, which is just over the rail line to us. So, um, so yeah, we'll probably be doing that tomorrow with Bubs as well of an evening after dinner. Um, so he gets to see Santa because one, I don't really see the thing in, in taking him so young to a grotto. Um, I mean, it was fair enough like last year and like the year before, like his first Christmas and his second Christmas. Um, his granddad, like my my husband's or my father-in-law um does uh like he's he's worked as like photographer i think he's actually done a stint as father christmas before as well um but yeah so he like so when we went up to visit them we took him to the to the grotto to visit his granddad um so yeah that's to me that's kind of like that's the only reason i'd do it but to take him i think this young when they don't really understand is like I've seen friends whose toddlers have like kicked off and they're just like overwhelmed by it all and I just don't see the point but at least with this one it'll actually be outside so it's kind of like it's just on our walk that we're doing it and we get to see like pretty lights and then there's this jolly man at the end of it that um that has a little chat with you and stuff so so yeah so I don't mind doing that I don't think I'm ready for the grotto yet maybe next year um and in a way grottos will be closed now anyway because of tier three and like indoor socializing i guess so uh so yeah but um but yes yeah, so there's that so so yeah it'll be my first day of freedom can't wait um not that i'm doing anything exciting uh tonight for dinner was just vegan burger and chips and beans um wasn't gonna do anything too too crazy um so it'll be pasta and meatballs tomorrow night and then friday night will be fish and chips i can't wait <laughs> i've been like aching for, for fish and chips for like weeks. I got like a smell of fried fish when we were out in Crete and ever since then it's just been on my brain. <laughs> like I, I need, I need my fish and chips. So, uh, so yeah, so I'm super looking forward to that. Um, what else? Uh, we're getting a few more films through BAFTA, which is good. We're getting, te well we've got Tenet through. Um, digital copy so we're going to be watching that Friday night um, that'll be our Friday night movie there was also one that's called I think it's called Luxor and it's like this um, romance or something that's based in Egypt so watching that purely for the fact that it's based in Egypt um, oh what was the other one? Oh, and we've got um, we get free membership to Apple TV so we get to see Tom Hanks's new film Greyhound which was about, I think, um, US Navy during the Second World War, I think. Um, or was it during the Cold War? I can't remember. But anyway, it's one I've wanted to watch for ages and now we get to watch it because I don't have to pay for Apple TV. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so we've got a few films to watch this weekend, so it should be good. Uh, I can't think of what else. Um, so tonight I'm just going to be... I think I edited, or oh, I, I started editing my Assassin's Creed video for Friday night, so um, I'm going to continue doing that tonight. Um, so obviously, yeah, because that's got to be done by Friday. So obviously, hopefully, I can finish it, finish editing it tonight, 
possibly exporting it before I go to bed or yeah if I just finish editing it tonight and then I can export it and upload it tomorrow night then that's fine so yeah I can do that because I don't know how tired Bubs is going to be and how quick he's going to go off his his sleep because he actually had a nap today which I am shocked about I think I kind of I think because he did a lot in terms of like making the mince pies and then he sat and he did some drawing I printed out some um, like Christmas trees and Merry Christmas signs like on some paper because I thought what I could do would give him um, them to scribble on like do a bit of colouring in and then I can give them to different family members as like a little mini um, Christmas present from him so uh, so yeah so he did that as well so he, he did actually have quite a a uh, active afternoon so he was ready for a nap by the time I, I um, cuddled up with him on the sofa and uh, and yeah he went off and I think he was asleep for about an hour and a half so yeah and then that's why um, yeah so because obviously we haven't been able to go out so I don't know how long it will take for him to actually go off on his nap but we'll see anyway on that note I'll just uh, sign off here and say that I shall see you in the morning possibly in the car outside in civilization <laughs> we shall see so see you tomorrow hi guys i don't know why there's this like orange tinge to the to the light I think it's because the the presents are like building up now and it's uh it's blocking the light from the lamp <laughs> but um anyways uh today is Friday um apologies for not really doing much yesterday um in terms of vlog vlogging stuff the last two days have just been really sort of like meh in terms of like I've just had this real brain fog I think from just being stuck in the house I've really not wanted to do anything um even though yeah like from yesterday we were technically we were able to to go out and yeah I just really didn't feel like doing much we did go out um after dinner last night because um there's a oh the orange tinge is gone don't know what that was about then um yeah so uh the um Normally we have in this village we have like a Father Christmas that goes that drives around like he's is on his sleigh that's being pulled around by a car, um, like playing Christmas music and stuff. And uh, yeah, normally he drives around the village, and then obviously if the kids want to come out and see him, then they get to get to see him, and um, and he would give out treats and stuff. Um, and he like has a bucket, it's basically for charity, so he's collecting money for charity. And we got some really cute pictures of, or well, really dark, but <laughs> really cute pictures of Bubs meeting him last year. Um, but this year, because of Covid and everything, they were like, well, if you want the kids, well, we'll still put him on, we'll still be collecting money for charity. But if you want to see him, you have to come to us. And there's like a Scouts um, building just across the railway line to us. So uh, so we queued up queued up there and um and Bubs went to see him. Didn't really do much although he was more obsessed with just taking the coins out of my husband's pocket and putting them in the little bucket. <laughs> so uh, so yes there was that but um but we walked a little bit down that way as well because um those houses on that main road um really do make an effort or a lot of them really make an effort with um with their lights their christmas lights. So we thought we'd have a walk down there um, last night. So that was basically all we did. Um, today has been quite miserable. So even if I did want to go out, I couldn't really. Um, but it was it was satisfying in the fact that I managed to get all my housework done. Like a like I said, it's it's felt quite relaxed this week in terms of because my husband works downstairs, so we can keep an eye on Bubs. He doesn't necessarily have to do anything, but he just makes sure he doesn't like kill himself or wreck the the living room or whatever um it means i have that freedom then to um do just go off and do the housework i don't have to like worry about what bubs is doing or whatever and bubs is not bothered about me like following me around or whatever so it means that, yeah i can just go off and, and do my thing and bubs is fine and yeah it just frees me up so much like during the day so it means i can just get things done really quickly within the hour and then I can sit and play with Bubs, or we can sit and watch a bit of TV, or whatever. So, um, 
So yes, it's really nice that I'm actually able to do that, get things done in the morning and in the afternoon I'm free or do it the other way around or whatever. So I don't have to rely on him napping to be able to get my housework done. Um, but uh, what else, what else, what else? I'm trying to think. Um, so yeah, so today um, we were able to get our uh, fish and chip takeaway that I've been like craving for, for weeks. Since um, since being in Greece here, and I've, I've smelt someone frying a fish, and I've just been craving fish and chips since then. Um, so we had that tonight, which was nice. My husband had his like veggie um, spring roll thing, um, which is as close to vegan as the uh, as the fish and chip shop gets. And Bub's had his sus sausage and chips. Um, he's still doing his thing of like you ask him if he wants to do something and he says no even though he like he would have said it like five seconds ago that he wanted to do it because you've asked him is not interested it's like no i don't want to do it because you you suggested it so, <laughs> so that's what we're currently dealing with um but it's funny it's really funny because he's just getting this like sort of personality and attitude it's hilarious um so uh so yeah there was that what else i'm trying to think um Oh, so we've got we've got a BAFTA film we're watching tonight. We're going to watch Tenet because um, I kept seeing the trailer for it like over the summer, I think, and I just thought it looked really good. It's Christopher Nolan's new one, and we're we're both big fans of Christopher Nolan, so we're really looking forward to that one. Um, what else we've got? Obviously, Mulan now is available on Disney um, for free, as in the um, live action film. So we plan on watching that at some point. Uh, what else was there? Um, oh, and today I decided to, I don't know why I got it in my head, but I was literally like, oh, we've got to watch Muppet Christmas Carol, because what we normally do is we go to, um, I think it's the Prince Charles Theatre, is it the Prince Charles or King Charles? I'm pretty sure it's the Prince Charles Theatre in, um, on Leicester Square. I just found the back of Leicester Square in Soho, and, um, the sort of cinema that they do like artsy films or they do like retro films so they'll do like at, ha at Halloween they'll do like Nightmare on Elm Street all nighter sort of thing um I'm pretty sure they've done like Lord of the Rings and Hobbit trilogy like all nighters as well so do that it's that sort of film they don't um theatre they don't really show I don't think they show the like, latest blockbusters I think it's more just for like classic sort of thing um but every Christmas they always do Muppet Christmas Carol sing-along um, and we always go with our friend um, who you've seen, if you've um, seen any of my social media, um, who I shared her YouTube channel the other day. I'll put a link down below if I remember. <laughs> um, yeah, we always go along to the sing-along for that um, at the Prince Charles, but obviously we haven't been able to this year. So I was like, I'm craving some Muppets Christmas Carol, so we put it on today. And Bob's watched quite a bit of it because obviously it's got the Muppets in it and uh, like he liked the songs and stuff but yeah we just his heart went in it <laughs> but i'll teach him i'll teach him the ways um as we as he gets older so but um the next few days i think are going to be quite busy um so tomorrow is saturday and um we or i've got my physio my first physio appointment which has been put back nearly a month i think pretty sure my appointment was the 19th my original appointment was the 19th of november but obviously because we got stuck in crete it's had to be moved back then i had to move it back again because of self-isolation so um so yes yeah, so tomorrow is my first physio appointment although i don't really think i'm going to get much feedback because i've not really been able to do my exercises couldn't do them at all while i was in crete because i never had really the time to myself to actually do them um and since being back it's been very rare that Bob's has actually gone down for a nap and that's when I tend to do them. So, and it's one of those things that my husband keeps saying like, oh, you just have to like tell me and you can go up and do it sort of thing. But the problem is I'm like, no, I want to try and get Bob's down on a nap. So I know I've got that time. I can just go off and, and do the exercise. But then I have to sit with him for like at least an hour and then he might not go off at all. He might just like zone out for, for a bit and then have a second wind and it's just I've lost an hour that I could have been doing my exercise and it just sort of deflates me I think that's a problem I just need to get out of that funk that 
if he doesn't go down for the nap, then I just say to my husband, look, I'm just going up to do my exercises now, whether or not he goes to sleep or whatever. So I think that's the that's the thing I need to get into my head. But yeah, anyway, that's tomorrow, my physio appointment. Um, I doubt there'll be any difference. I don't see any difference. If anything, I feel bigger. Um, I don't know if that's just because I haven't done the exercises, so my stomach has just sprung out or it's just because I've put on weight because I've not been doing any running and, and it's Christmas and I've just been eating a load of shit so um so I guess we'll see um I don't feel like my stomach is doming as as much like when you get um like when you have the um, diastasis recti um you get the this like sort of dome effect in your stomach it looks really weird um and I haven't had that for a very long time um, I'm always trying, but the thing is I always feel like I'm trying to clench my muscles in my stomach and that I don't really feel like I'm doing it. So like when I sit up or if I lift something heavy, like if I try and lift my son, I always try and cleanse, cleanse, clench my muscles together and it doesn't feel like I'm doing it. So I don't know if I've lost that ability to do that, but then the few times that I've been able to do the exercises since I've been back, I've been able to do it. So I don't know if it's just I've lost the ability to just be able to do it on the fly. I don't know. So, um, but then I tried to do the thing where I could feel my, the gap, like the gap in my muscles and it didn't really, f I couldn't really feel it. So I don't know if sort of the thing of lifting my son who obviously gets heavier by the day and also heavy suitcases while we're away. I don't know if just doing that has actually helped in terms of keeping my stomach going in terms of closing that gap. I don't know. Um, but we'll just have to see what she says when we when we go there tomorrow. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm not expecting much, but I just really need to get into the habit of, if Bob doesn't go down for a nap, I just have to go up and up and do my exercises anyway. So, so yeah, um, so there's that. Then obviously my husband's gonna drop me back off home. And then, um, so what I'll probably be doing, um, cause my husband's text me and I have a feeling that Bob's has just gone off to sleep cause he's not had his nap today. And, um, no, it was just a message, <laughs> but, um, yes, yeah, so, yeah, my husband's going to drop me off so I can finish off my, get my vlog done and ready for Sunday, um, and also maybe Assassin's Creed, an Assassin's Creed video, yeah, because I've got to edit the one for Monday, oh, I forgot about that, shit, <laughs> and also, and also, if I can, wrap presents, um, for Christmas because uh, he's then going out with my parents he's going to pick up my parents because they're staying at my aunt's at the moment with Bubs he's taking Bubs with him um, I'm gonna go pick up my parents drive to the hospital that my nan was staying in when we were away she, um, where she fell out and broke her hip fell out of bed and broke her hip um, and she left her bag there or the staff didn't pick up her bag so we thought it had been stolen but it turns out yeah she just left it at the hospital and it's still there because no one's gone to pick it up and no one's um taking it back to her so um so yeah so my dad has to go into the hospital pick that up then they're going then my husband is going to take them to because obviously my dad doesn't have a car um because he sold his car over here um and he still hasn't got one in Crete anyway but um yes yeah, so then my husband's going to drive them to my nan's the home that she's she stays in and so my parents can see her, give her her shopping, like cakes, biscuits, or whatever it is she needs. Um, and they can visit her, because obviously they haven't seen her since um, October. So, so yeah, they get go to get in, go in and see her. Um, and then they're gonna come come back here, and we're gonna get a takeaway because technically my my parents are in our sort of bubble. So, um, so yes, yeah, so and that's that. And um, that's it. So, yeah, <laughs> that's our weekend plan. And then Sunday, I've got nothing planned other than we're going to try and get to Tesco literally first thing on Sunday morning. Um, literally get up, have our showers, and go um, and try and get as much Christmas shopping as possible. And what we can't get in Tesco, there's a Sainsbury's on the way home, so we'll go in Sainsbury's and get what we can't get from there so hopefully we can get the stuff that we can't get from Tesco so we'll just see but I am my anxiety is just building up for it because oh I just hate Christmas food shopping it's just so stressful I hate it 
but I need to do it. Normally I can rely on my mum to do it, but obviously she's not been able to do it this year, so, so yeah. Um, and that's, that's it really, but obviously the, te um, Sunday's going to be on another video, so I won't be talking about that. So yeah, hopefully I can do more footage for you tomorrow, uh, me not stressing out over a vlog. <laughs> but we'll see. Um, anyway, yeah, I'll leave that there because I need to try and at least get started on my vlog for Sunday. That's the hardest thing is getting started because then I have to try and pull all the videos together and be like, oh, what day goes where? Um. So yeah, that's my current um, challenge for now. So, uh, so yeah, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Different angle today. <laughs> and more of a better face to be looking at because I've put my makeup on. So um, yes, this morning I've been to my first physio appointment in a very long time because um, obviously my last one was actually, um, well had to be cancelled because I was still in Greece at the time and then the one I had um, booked after that I had to put back a week because obviously we had to self-isolate. So, um, so yeah, <laughs> uh, so what was I going to say? Um, it went a lot better than I thought it would. Uh, sorry, I woke up really early this morning. <laughs> um, yeah, it went a lot better than I thought it would. Um, she felt my stomach muscles, like she got me to do sort of laying down, clenching my stomach muscles and then lifting my, my head up. And she said the, the gap hasn't closed or got any like thinner, so to speak. It's still quite a wide gap. But she says that she can feel that the muscles are tightening so in terms of like obviously the muscles are strengthening even if the gap isn't closing so obviously because I was really worried about the fact that um I hadn't been able to do the exercises while I've been away um and since coming back I really haven't had a chance to do them because obviously I used to do them when Bubs was on his nap and because he's been fighting his naps it's very rare for me to be able to do it um but she said but I, I did tell her that um while I was away I was very conscious of every time I did something like lifted something heavy or got up in a way that I knew my core would be um would be used that I made sure I engaged my muscles to make sure that I didn't like cause any damage or or do anything that would make it any worse so um so yeah so she felt my stomach and said that she could tell that my technique, like I was nailing the technique still. Um, I hadn't lost lost any of any of that. Um, and she said because I kept up running as well, she said that would have helped um, strengthen my core as well, which is good. So, um, so yes. Yeah, so she said obviously, like I probably would have made a lot more progress if I had had been able to do the exercises. Um, but I've not made things worse, and things haven't sort of stayed the same so to speak so uh so yeah so been pretty good um she what else did she say um yeah so i i did tell her because she said like how's your back been because that's the her main goal is to sort out my back and um and she did say that uh or i did tell her that since coming back what's been happening or like um like yesterday or whatever we um so obviously cooked dinner or not yesterday the day before cooked dinner um yeah cook dinner eat dinner wash up and then we go out for a walk and um when we were out for the walk my back was absolutely killing me to the point I just had to either sit down or lean against a wall just to give my back a break it was absolutely kill like to the point I was like I didn't want to be on the walk anymore, it was so painful. Um, and she did say obviously because I haven't I hadn't been able to do any of the strength exercises, um, so that obviously wasn't helping. There was also the fact that obviously being in Greece meant I wasn't doing my normal routine that I normally do at home that would put strain on my back. So it had all this time without any of that um, strain then I'm going straight back into doing what I did before like normally without having the strength training and yeah it's just not my back for six so so to speak so she, she said it's it's obviously just taking a shock to the system because your back's had all this time where it's not been having any training any strengthening or any sort of strain and then you're going straight back into what you did before so it was gonna so she said so it's gonna give you grief so she gave me a very long massage normally my um 
my class with her is half an hour but today it was 45 minutes and I think it's because she gave me an extra long back massage but it was so nice it really hurt at first but then by the end oh it was lovely so my back is feeling not tender at all like um, the last few times she'd done it it's actually feeling really nice so um so yeah it's all limbered up so <laughs> so hopefully now I can actually get into doing strength training um with it uh but she also gave me an extra exercise to do so she said for me to continue with the exercises I have been doing because she said obviously you've missed out on them so you need to get that strength back up and the strength that you or the strength training that you were working on with them um but what she has given me is an extra exercise to do so instead of just doing the one where I'm on my back and I lift one leg up um and alternate like which arm I lift um she said for me to do it where I'm on my back and I lift both legs up and I did it with her there and I could feel it was really pulling on my stomach in a good way in terms of I know that that's a good exercise that will make a lot of difference um but yeah she said for me to make sure I do keep my spine neutral because she said because what you what people can tend to do in that exercise is if your core muscles don't have any strength in them then you will use your back to lift I mean you're supposed to use your back to some extent in that exercise because that's why she's, why she's given it to me because she said because it's that extra back exercise to help strengthen my back again. So um, so she said so you're supposed to have some sort of um, pull in your back but not to the extent where your core isn't working and it's your back doing all the work. She said because if that's what happens then you've got problems. So she says so. So she says so if you do feel anything like that then she said then obviously stop and do it bit by bit so to speak so yeah so that was that was quite good um yeah I'm quite pleased with that so uh so I'm I'm seeing her in a month not six weeks it's in a month so um I think because obviously where I was away I think she wants to see me closer to make sure that um I'm actually making progress with the exercises I guess um because I think it's so uh, it's I think she lengthens the amount of time she'll see you if obviously you she feels that you don't need any um any extra help so to speak so I think when it's once a month it's because obviously where I've had the issue with not being able to do it and stuff and obviously because of my back um getting worse and stuff so so yeah we'll just have to see what what happens in a in a month's time I guess um so that's that we watched Tenet last night um BAFTA screener that my husband had um and it was super confusing <laughs> I think most of the time I say they're like what <laughs> But it was a really good film. It was because I mean I'm a massive fan of Christopher Nolan, and again this doesn't disappoint. It's like the like the practical effects are amazing, the special effects are top notch. It would be amazing to see an IMAX. Um, it's just the story I just found really confusing. I kind of get it once you've watched the film the first time, like you've watched it to the end, you kind of get it. But I think then you have to go back and watch it again because where it's all about reversing time and stuff, and I think yeah i i kind of just got really confused as to because it's not time travel it's just yeah it's just really weird I'm not going to go into it but i really enjoyed it so i think we'll definitely be watching that again um that's it so bubs and my husband are out at the moment uh which gives me free time i've i really shouldn't be doing this video to be honest i should be getting on with my vlog because i've got to finish my vlog and then i've got to do some wrapping <laughs> lots of wrapping um before they come back so yeah I really need to be getting on with that so I've got my cup of tea so um yeah so I'm gonna drink that whilst I do my vlog because obviously this one is about me putting up Christmas decorations so it's gonna be very fiddly and probably take a while to do so yeah fun times but anyway so hopefully I will speak to you later probably tonight so yeah bye okay so my video is now exporting so now I'm going to try and sort out this big mess that is our uh office and sort of <laughs> just whose presents are what because it's just all over the place and yeah just super dis disorganized okay so this is what our uh, office looks like right now in terms of that pile is um hubby's stuff to me i think well it's hubby's it's the stuff that has his names on it well i don't know what it is so i'm not opening it until like that's up to him to open it because <laughs> there might be some stuff in there for my um for my niece but I'm not sure so yeah so that's part for my husband that's Bub's kitchen that we're gonna leave 
in the box till Christmas Eve night and then we'll build it Christmas Eve um, when he's gone to bed. Um, that's for my baby niece. Um, stuff behind there as well, that's all for Bubs. Um, me and my mum are going to go through it later because that's why I wanted to sort it out. Um, she wants to go through it later and see if there's anything in there she wants to give to him so then she can give me the money money for it. Um, this is all the <laughs> all the stuff that's uh, being thrown away. That's all the wrapping paper and uh, that's my muesli um, pile for my husband. I feel really bad but you know when when you have someone that says like they don't want anything you have to try and think of things to get them so I hope he enjoys what he's got. I know at least one thing in there he wanted so so yeah I feel really bad. <laughs> oh well. Time to wrap them. My camera's gone all dark all of a sudden, I don't know why. I've pressed something and now it's gone all funny. Anyway, so um yeah, so I've I was obviously recording um me wrapping my niece's presents and my memory card actually ran out of memory. So, so I finished wrapping, um, I've almost pretty much run out of wrapping paper so I've had to stop for the time being until I can actually get some more wrapping paper which will most likely be tomorrow because um, me and my hubby are doing our Christmas shop tomorrow which I'm super anxious about but because <laughs> it's like Christmas food shop so um, so yes we've got that tomorrow um, so in the meantime I've finished um, doing my video that's all uploaded now to YouTube, so that's good for tomorrow. Um, my husband's still not home, um, so, because, uh, yeah, the, I think it's just like the Christmas traffic is just absolutely appalling right now. It's like when I went, when we came out of my, um, physio appointment this morning, I mean, it was not even 10 o'clock and the, the traffic was pretty bad. So, yeah, so I can imagine he's not having a fun time of it right now. I feel really bad. <laughs> but, um... But yeah, so it means at least I can get part three, hopefully, of Assassin's Creed Valhalla done. So I don't have to worry about that at all then tomorrow. So literally I can just do whatever I need to do um, before my live stream and then just concentrate on my live stream. So it would be nice to not have a stressful day um, before I do a live stream because that tends to be the case. So, um, so yeah, I'm taking full advantage of being able to do as much as I can so I don't have to do it tomorrow. So yeah, today's been a uh, not great day. <laughs> um, so they've officially announced that they've created a new tier four for um, England, basically in the tier levels that they've been doing. Um, so we've been in tier three. They've now basically created a tier four to put us in it. Um, because this new variant of the virus has gotten out of control in this area of England, in the southeast, um, so they're desperately trying to control it. So basically, all the um, sort of what would you even call it? Um, softening of the rules for Christmas, for the few days of Christmas, has now completely gone for us. So basically we're not allowed to see any family over Christmas. Um, for those that aren't in tier four, I think they can have like one, or was it one family? I think it might have been three, up to three families, I think. Um, but literally just for Christmas day, rather than over a set of five days originally. Um, so yeah, so we don't get to see any family. Um, and they're reviewing, they're gonna review it on December 30th. Um, to be honest, I'm, I'm, I don't even know how I feel about it now. I'm just so tired of it. I'm just bored of all these fucking people that are just so fucking ignorant and arrogant and just so self-obsessed and I can't, I can't even really think of words to describe them really. I just fucking hate these people. I really fucking do because they act in like spoil children because they're told to do something and then they do it be they don't listen to the rules because they've been told to do something so they're like well you told me to do something therefore I'm going to do the complete opposite 
and because of that we're in this fucking shitty mess and those of us that have actually tried to be good and responsible have to put up with this shit because people just will not listen and it fucks me off something chronic especially because these people won't listen to those rules and they'll still see their families because they're kind of like well I'm it doesn't affect me I'm not bothered so this new tier 4 probably will have zero effect so it will probably be like we'll probably be in tier 4 for god knows how much longer I mean I'm not pissed off on myself in a way um I am because it's so short notice but and obviously we had all these plans to meet see my family and stuff it's more I feel shitty for my parents because obviously they've paid money like money that they didn't have to spend to come over to England to see their family which they now can't um so there's that there's several people I know that live completely on their own and have been looking forward to actually being able to spend time with their family um when they've been avoiding pretty much most social contact because they want to stay safe and they want to keep their family safe and that's all just been taken away from them because of a few shitty pricks that just cannot follow a few simple fucking rules. Sorry, I'm just so fucking angry that like friends of mine have to suffer because of some stupid selfish people out there. And it just drives me fucking insane that they're still acting like it's fucking childish and they need to fucking grow up. I'm well, sorry, I don't like to swear on my channel <laughs> if I can help it, but it's just... I'm so angry with it, I really am. To the point I've I've given myself a headache because it's I just I'm just so enraged about it all. So yeah. <laughs> um I mean, yeah, there's nothing I can really talk about. I don't know what else to say, because yeah, I mean there's what can I what can we do? There's like nothing we can do. I've like all the plans that we had for next week gone. Like we can't see my my husband's family um, over Christmas because we were planning on seeing them. Can't see my sister, can't see my parents. So yeah, it's just super, super shit. And soon I was having a good day, a productive day, and now it's all just been shut on. And I hate it. And we've got to try not to have a late night tonight because we've got to get up super early because we've got to try and go get, um, Christmas shopping tomorrow, as in food shopping, um, and I can imagine the the shops are going to be unbearable. Um, so, yeah, really not in a good place right now. I don't think a lot of people are, to be honest. And I hate the fact that I can't help, like, my friends and my family. And they're stuck in these like awful shitty situations and there's nothing you can really do about it. I hate it. I hate not being able to help. Or like say something that's like helpful. But yeah, I'm just tired of this whole thing right now. As I'm sure many of you people are, but not the way I really wanted to end the video, but there you go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Unlikely, but you <laughs> never know. Um so uh, yeah, if you did, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, um, you can follow me on social media, all the links will be down below, and on that note, I'll say I love you guys, and I shall see you on the next video.